It's been so long since we've all done something together. I can't believe Nick convinced the others to go camping. I wonder if Oscar is still coming. It might be too soon since the funeral. Is that my watch? What time is it anyway? The guy should be here soon. be pulling up any minute. What did I do with my bag? There's my bag. Best present I ever got from Oscar's mum. So glad she came to the party before she passed. I miss her. Can't imagine what Oscar's feeling. That has to be them. Bennett's live at the door, wanting to get away from Nick, with everything that's going on with them. Coming! I feel like we've been in this car forever. My legs are starting to go dead back here. That's what happens when you don't call shotgun. Yeah, well I don't always get what I want. Coming from the control freak, you Can always- you two not do this now? I'm trying to concentrate over here. Sorry. We must be close by now, Oscar. I'm starting to get hungry. There's food in the glove box if you're hungry, and we're getting close. We'll be there in another 40 minutes. 40 minutes? That's so long! It is taking a lot longer than we thought. It's nearly been three hours. It's only been three hours. It feels a lot longer. She has a point. Maybe we should pull over and I'll drive for the last stretch. I'm fine. I'll drive the rest of the way. I've already gotten this far by myself. All right, mate, if you're sure. Are you sure we're going the right way, Oscar? I don't remember seeing any of this on the map. I checked before we left. We're going the right way, Liv. Okay. Hey, mate. She was only trying to make a suggestion. Yeah, well, I didn't ask for suggestions. I think Liv might be right, Oscar. There's no harm in taking another look. Maybe we can pull over and you can let Nick drive for a bit too. I said I'm fine to drive and I know where I'm going. It's okay to admit you're unsure, Oscar. We don't have to pull over, but maybe we could check the map for you. Okay, okay. Uh, the map should be somewhere in the back. Emma, can you find it for me?
Hurry up! I need to know where I'm going before the next turn. Hey. Emma, we're waiting on the map. It looks like the map has been torn up into three p You're not gonna find anything out there. Hey, put the window up. Emma, can you please hurry up? Oscar needs the map. I need the map before I know where to go. Look out! It looks like the map has been torn up into three pieces. Hurry up! I need to know where I'm going before the next turn. I need the map before I know where to go. Emma, we're waiting on the map. I need the map before I know where to go. I need the map before I know where to go. I need the map before I know where to go. Emma, can you please hurry up? Oscar needs the map. It looks like the map has been torn up into three pieces. You're not gonna find anything out there. Hurry up! I need to know where I'm going before the next turn.
Hey, put the window up. It's distracting. That's two. There should be one more piece. You have the map. But how do we put them together? Emma, we're waiting on the map. That's it. Okay, I know where I'm going. Hello? Earth to Emma? What's going on up there? Sorry, I'm just thinking about Oscar. What about him? Do you think he won't go to the party? If this is even a good idea to begin with. He hasn't responded to any of our messages since the funeral. Not even a month ago. This will be good for him to get out of his house. Besides, Nick told me Oscar is coming. Wait, Nick has been talking to him? I was considering calling his dad to check on him. I'm glad you didn't. Nick said he isn't talking to his dad either. Why? Did something happen? Apparently they've been falling out a lot and not really talking to each other since the funeral. But they're usually so close with one another. This time of year, they would normally take off work and go camping together. Wait, how do you know all this? Nick told me after he went over to Oscars. Nick told you? I thought you two weren't talking anymore. After, you know. Yeah. We're talking again. Just not exactly what I want to talk about. He's been avoiding the topic. I thought you said that you didn't want a relationship with him. You two just wanted something casual. That was your one rule with each other. It was more that when he asked about being together, I was just caught off guard and I wasn't expecting it. But I've had time to think, and I do want to be with him. Why don't you just say it to him? Because he's been spending all his time with Oscar trying to make him feel better. Which I understand, it's just... Oh. Just give him time. You can talk to him tomorrow at the party. Yeah, you're right. Besides, Oscar needs him now more than me. I'm meant to be helping Nick set up tomorrow. I'll see if he says anything more about Oscar. The rain is really starting to pick up. Oh, if this keeps up, we won't be able to set up camp at all. Such a waste of time, driving all this way for nothing. Be optimistic. It should clear up soon. It better. I don't want to drive all this way for nothing. Hey, look on the bright side. We're all here hanging out. It's been a while since we've done this. Not really. 
You can't just say everything will be okay when it's not. The world doesn't work like that, Emma. Watch out! Shit. Oh my god. Is everyone okay? Yeah, we're okay. Crap. There's a hole in the windscreen. We need to patch it up to stop the water coming in. Has anyone got anything? A rock just broke through the window and almost killed us. I don't think anything will fix it. Don't be so negative, Nick. We're all okay. No one is hurt. Yeah, just water flowing in. It's fine. We should pull over. You can't see anything, Oscar. I'm not stopping this car. We're almost there. That's dangerous. We need to stop the car. I said, I'm not stopping this car. We just need to find something to patch the windscreen. Emma and Nick, have a look and see what you can find. Hurry! Hey, that's my knife. Maybe it could be useful for something. How is a coin going to help us? Come on, Emma, Jesus! Will you hurry up, Emma? I can't keep focused with the wind screen like this. What the hell are you doing? Faster, Emma, the water is going all over me. Hey, can you hurry? We're all soaked. That's not going to help. Go find something useful. Look out! Hey, that's my knife. Maybe it could be useful for something. How is a coin going to help us? Will you hurry up, Emma? I can't keep focused with the windscreen like this. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Go find something useful. That's not going to help. Go find something useful. That's not going to help. Go find something useful. Ah, okay. Faster, Emma, the water is going all over me. 
That's not going to help. Go find something useful. That's not going to help. Go find something useful. That's not... Hey, can you hurry? We're all soaked. That's not, that's not going to help. Go find something useful. Thanks again for helping out, Emma. I was never going to get all this done myself. No problem. I thought you said Oscar was helping out too. He said he couldn't make it until later. Oh. I was hoping to see him. He hasn't returned any of my messages. not great, Emma. I've never seen him this bad. I went over on Monday and I could tell he was crying before I got there. When I went in, his dad tried to say hi to me and they started arguing. She was a big part of their lives. I wish we could do something to take his mind off everything. I think I might have an idea for that. What if we went camping, like he used to with his dad? Would everyone even want to go? Of course. Oscar loved those camping trips. You know that. And live. What about Liv? Are you two going to be alright if this trip goes ahead? You should really talk to her first before making everyone on the trip uncomfortable. I don't think she wants to talk about what happened between us. She just wants to move on with our lives. You know that's not true. She told me herself that she wants to talk to you about what happened. I'll talk to her when I can. I have the party. Uh, and Oscar needs me right now. Okay, okay. Just try to talk to her soon, alright? Yeah. All right. But just to be sure, Oscar is definitely coming tonight, right? Yes, Emma. He's coming. Don't worry. I'm mentioning the camping trip idea, and he'll definitely want to get out of the house and drive there. Like he would normally. You sure he'll want to drive? Me or Liv could drive instead. Don't worry. He'll be fine. If anything, it'll be good for him. Okay. If you're sure but if he doesn't want to just let me know so someone else can drive instead I will now come on we have to finish getting ready people will start arriving soon Guys, I don't want to be that person, but I think we're lost. As I said before, Liv, I know where I'm going. Do you think? We've been driving for hours and it's dark. We should have been there a while ago, Oscar. Liv, Oscar knows what he's doing. Leave him alone. Does he? We've been driving for hours. I'm soaked. Even if we get to the campsite, what's the point in setting up camp if it's meant to rain all weekend? You knew this could have happened, Liv. 
The weather is always a 50-50 chance when camping. I thought you'd be happy just to come. I guess I was wrong about you like usual. What the hell is that meant to me? You know what I'm talking about. Guys, let's not do this right now. This isn't helping. No, I want to hear what he has to say. Since you've been avoiding me all this time and now you have something to say. Everything was already said about us. You hesitated. I took it as a no. So I decided to be the bigger person. And you just can't deal with that. We haven't been able to talk about us since you've done nothing but hang out with Oscar and ignore me. You know I'm right. Even Emma agrees with me. What? Is this true, Emma? What? No. Well, it, it's not exactly true, but he knew you guys wanted to talk. You're and... unbelievable. You know that. I trusted you to understand where I was coming from. And to think... Enough! I have had it with all of you. Telling me that I'm wrong. When, when you two can't even sort your own shit out. About if you even like each other. I've gone through hell and I didn't even want to come on this trip. But here I am. With doing it for you guys. But all you do is care about yourselves. Oscar, it's okay. We don't need to do this here. I know you're still hurt over your mum. You leave her out of this, Emma. You think you can try to make me feel bad for you guys by talking about her. Try to get me on this trip to make me feel better. But none of you were there. It took Nick nearly a month just to visit me. So don't think you're all high and mighty coming to the rescue now when you didn't even try to check on me. Or even try more than a text. Silent, huh? Figures with you. Whoa, mate. Calm down. She's trying her best. We Oscar, all are. I'm, I'm really sorry. Too late for that now. Where were you when my mom left me, Emma? Probably off pretending to fix everyone else's problems. Emma to the rescue. Nothing ever goes wrong when I'm around. Oscar. Wait, Liv! Actually, you know what? Tell me, Emma. Tell what it's like to always know what's happening and to be right all the time. Oscar! What? Look out! Hey, have you guys seen Oscar? I thought I saw him go down the trail over there. He looked pretty upset after what happened in the car. Okay, I'll go see where he is. I've been meaning to talk to him. Bring him back and tell him we're here for him. I will. In the meantime, you two have things to sort out. Yeah, I know we do. Awesome. Just thinking about you guys, dad, and mum. I'm sorry about earlier. I, I shouldn't have said those things. And I know I've been avoiding everyone lately and it's unfair of me to say it was your fault when it was just as much mine too. It's okay. I know things haven't been easy. I hope you know we're here whenever you need us, okay? I know you guys are. I'm, I'm really grateful. 
I've missed you guys. We've missed you too. And you know we'll always be there for you. Me, Nick, Lev, your dad. Ah, Nick mentioned what happened then. He said you guys are fighting. You don't usually fight. Were. We were fighting, but I think we're getting used to it. Mum, I mean, not being around. We had breakfast together for the first time since Mum died. He asked me how my team was getting on. I haven't played rugby in four years. He made me laugh. First time I've done that in a while with him. But he's trying, Emma. I think it's about time I try too. That's good. I'm glad you two can talk like before. Even if it is about your terrible kicking. Hey, I'm not that bad. <laughs> I know. Made you laugh, though. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. I, I needed this trip. Of course. Come on, the other guys will want to see you too at some point. You sure they're not too busy with each other? I hope not. I didn't sign up for a couple's retreat. Me neither. I have some s'mores with my name on them, and I like to eat them in peace. <laughs> what do we have? Female, mid-twenties, involved in a road collision. How many involved? Four. Two patients are in a critical condition. Where's my son? Sir, sir, I need you to leave this area. You can't be here. Please, I need to see my son. Is he here? Please, I need to know. He's all I have left. Little baby, don't say a word Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird 
And if that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring.